First of all, let me preface this by saying that I'm recording this entire video, this talking headshot, uh, with the Canon 650D using Magic Lantern and Crop Mood. I'm recording at 4.2K, 16 by 9 um, 12-bit RAW. One of the reasons I'm shooting this is because I really want to see how the camera behaves, how it will uh, behave after recording for 10-15 minutes, even if it does record for 10-15 minutes. Let's hope it does. Right now it's green, so. So let's talk about gear and what gear you should get, what gear you shouldn't get, and most of all, let's talk about gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. The thing about gas is we all get gas every once in a while especially when we're starting out investing in gear. That's when we get gas the most because we don't have as much experience, so we think we need everything for every occasion. And the reality is that the time goes by and you pile up gear around you in a basement or whatever, and you suddenly realize, when was the last time I used this drone? Or when was the last time I used this microphone? And you get to this point where you realize I've been now, first of all, this is money I can have. I could sell this stuff and invest in more things that I actually use. I'm at a point uh, where all my gear is just what I use regularly. Not even stuff that I might use once every, you know, two years or something. I'm down to the very basics right now. I have, I have three lenses. I have two cameras, and only because I need one for still photography. Uh, I have one microphone, one shotgun microphone. I have got a set, two sets of lavalier mics. I have a, re a rec professional recorder, Zoom FN8, F8N actually. I have a small aperture monitor, which I got back in 2016 when I got the 5D Mark IV. Eventually, I got a Ninja Atomos Inferno to use with my GH5, but all of that was sold. And I'm left with this really good monitor, Aperture Fine HD. It's something you don't, it, they don't make it anymore. I think this was an Aperture. We're still kind of finding its market niche and it ended up being lighting. But they made a monitor and it's pretty decent. It doesn't have all the features and bells and whistles of a, you know, of current generation monitors, but it still does the job. But other than that, I have a small follow focus. I have a Manfrotto tripod with a Nitro Tech 8 or N8 uh, video head. Oh, and the lights, but those are very cheap. I got a softbox. Uh, I got a couple of uh, LED, uh, LED panels, RGB, so it's fine, so it's nice. So I'm putting this kind of blue cast on me. I reduced my gear significantly for two reasons. First and foremost, because of what I mentioned before, because you don't need it. You know, just you, when you shoot regularly and you do jobs over and over and over, you start to realize the things that you actually need and use. And those that you bought just for a what if uh, that might never come. The only thing I miss having is more lenses, but even then, I have three and it's a Sigma 18 to 35, which I'm using right now. I have a Canon 85 millimeter 1.8, but it's a good lens. I use that for portrait photography, for headshots, for actors and stuff like that. And I have a Helios 44B. Basically, when I want something more stylized, when I'm looking for a, a nice close-up, uh, that's what I go for. And those are the free lenses. I don't really do a lot of macro uh, photography or videography or whatever, so I don't really need a super wide lens. And I don't do the opposite either. I don't do telephoto shooting. I don't need to be shooting an actor who's like, you know, uh, a million miles away. So I need a telephoto to, to have him in frame. So no, I don't need that either. And just basically the, the, the one lens that's been living in my camera is the 18-35, to be it the 650D or the Blackmagic. The 18-35 the to is always on the one I'm using. Uh, because it's that good of a lens. I mean, there's, you know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube talking about the lens. Everyone knows it's a fantastic lens, and it's absolutely the best investment I've probably ever made. Uh, it's the most valuable investment. It's the one that I've used the most. It's the one that I've relied on the most. So, yeah, that, you know, that lens will last forever, I I'm thinking. If we're going to place priorities, lenses would be the number one priority, then the bodies, and so on. It's kind of therapeutical for me to talk, so there you go. 
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.